unearths a scary reality. The world is running out of water. The Earth's condition continues to deteriorate, and we know it. We need to prepare for the consequences this brings. Strange heat waves are blowing through the planet, and there's more. Something very shocking is now happening to the European rivers. The waters are drying up in unexplainable ways, and mighty rivers are becoming low enough to walk through on foot. Why is this happening? Stick around to find out. How did you feel when you first heard about the term global warming? Probably concerned, but not preoccupied with it. This is because you needed help to see the practical examples of what it could do. Today, however, not only is the weather becoming more uncomfortable due to the scorching heat, but there are also other visible adverse effects on our environment that we can see. While other continents may have different stories to tell about the global warming situation, the European continent has left us concerned about their waters. The continent is large, with many great rivers, such as the Danube River, Dnieper River, Don River, Elbe River, Loire River, Oder River, Po River, Rhine River, etc. Over the years, these great rivers have flourished, being a source of electricity and other industrial purposes. But in current times, Europe is experiencing an extreme doubt, such that has never been seen in past decades. Suddenly, there is an outburst of record-breaking heat waves due to climate change, which has left the rivers dry and water reserves running low. One such river is Italy's Po. Po is regarded as Italy's longest river, having a length of about 652 kilometers. This river rises from the upper reaches of the Caudian Alps and flows from west to east across the northern portion of Italy. Flowing beautifully, it eventually drains into the Adriatic Sea. This great river flows through several major Italian cities, including Cremona, Milan, Piacenza, and Turin. With Milan and Turin being industrial centers in the country, one can tell how valuable this river has been. Consequently, Po's water is used for industrial purposes and remains a tourist attraction. However, the heat waves and extreme drought hovering over Europe are beginning to leave this river in great shambles. Empty boats are now seen lying around on dry riverbeds. When interviewing a resident in his 20s, he acknowledges that he has never seen anything like this happen before in the area, and that the elderly people are also saying the same thing. This is devastating for Italy, because large rice fields rely on this river for irrigation. With the river surprisingly drying up, areas known as the breadbasket of Italy are sure to suffer. But Po is not the only river suffering from the adverse effect of the European drought. Spain's reservoirs are also falling to their lowest levels. Consequently, a large water reservoir in Spain, known as the Sao Reservoir, also has its share of the drought. The St. Roma de Sao town had been sunken in the 1960s to create this reservoir in the Catalonia region. However, with the heat wave in the area, something shocking is happening to this water reserve. Old relics are re-emerging. Out of the surface of the now very low reserve, an ancient church from the submerged valley has sprung up again. Nothing had been seen of this church for over 50 years now, but the church is now standing tall due to the drought. The shocking sight has resulted in tourists trooping in and out of the area. Alongside this ancient church, old relics are also re-emerging. Parts of a nearby cemetery and school have also resurfaced from the water. A man named Angel's Font, who happens to be the only person alive out of all who have lived in the village before it sank, had a couple things to say about the incident. He had lived there with his family before it sank, and according to him, he had seen his old house reemerge at one time as well. This goes on to show how bad the drought had become. And while it may be interesting to see ancient church buildings re-emerging, the effects it leaves on Spain is a drastic reduction in water sources which might be devastating in the long run. Again, other water reserves remain in Spain, currently suffering from the drought. 
The Batings Reservoir in Western Yorkshire is a good example of another reservoir now burning dry from the heat waves in Europe. The reservoir was created from a tiny village called the Hamlet of Batings, which flooded in the 1950s. So far, the water has receded far enough to reveal an ancient bridge that had been submerged in the area for decades. This bridge was said to have been centuries old, standing right from the time of the Vikings' occupation of Great Britain in the Middle Ages. The last that was seen of it was it sinking into the Batings Reservoir. But with the increasing rate of the drought, the reservoir has now been said to have dropped to about 50% below its original state. This has led to the re-emergence of the previously submerged bridge. The overall effect of this could be more pleasant for the Yorkshire region. According to the Yorkshire Water Director, Neil Davis, Yorkshire rivers are running low, and the reservoirs are around 20% lower than expected at this time of the year. Surprisingly, the United Kingdom, usually known to be wet, has been included in this hot story. The River Thames in England is drying up rapidly for the first time since 1976. The Thames is known to be the second largest river in the whole of England, flowing through southern England, including London, at about 215 miles. Sadly, the Thames is also drying up, and this is due to the record-breaking heat in Europe. Moving down to France, the story is similar, as the Great River Loire is also affected. Loire is known to be the largest river in the whole of France. It has a length of about 1,600 kilometers, rising from the foothills of Massif Central in the Cévennes mountain range located in the French department of Ardèche. The river flows across France's northern and western cities and drains into the Bay of Biscay. This river is rich in many fish species, with about 164 bird species coming to reside. However, with the immense heat waves blowing over France, things could be better for this great river. The water here has receded so much that the people can walk across the River Loire on foot. Sad again is the fact that the River Rhine is also drying up. This river has served as a major artery for countries like Switzerland, Austria, and Germany. Being the longest affected river on our list, it has a length of about 1,230 kilometers and originates from the southeastern part of the Swiss Alps in Canton Griston, Switzerland. The river flows northward through the large Rhine Valley and then forms the international boundary between Switzerland and Liechtenstein and between Switzerland and Austria. From Austria, the river flows into Lake Constance and then westward out of the lake as a high Rhine and forms Switzerland's northeastern border with Germany. The river then falls over 22 meters, known as the Rhine Falls. Then, in Switzerland, the river flows northward and is called the Upper Rhine. This part forms the boundary between Germany and France and eventually flows into the Netherlands, divides into three branches, and empties into the North Sea. Indeed, the Rhine River is a great one that serves many nations. Today, however, the River Rhine is fast drying up, and as the water continues to recede, well-to-do economies are gradually feeling the heat. One of the most affected regions is Germany. The German economy needs help regarding the receding waters of the Rhine. The River Rhine is a key economic artery for transporting large cargoes from the country, and as the water becomes very low, ships are forced to reduce their load capacity by about 30%. Consequently, Germany continues to seek alternative ways to ensure the effective transportation of its goods, especially the heavy-weighted industrial materials. Trains are not a good option, since German train stations are usually overcrowded. And while using trucks may be an option, analysis shows that it isn't a good option. This is because about 110 trucks are required to transport the same amount of goods that would have been transported by one ship. Again, after considering the number of trucks needed for the smooth transportation of goods, it became clear that there needed to be more trucks and drivers. So while there remains a search for better alternatives, no other option provides the ease that comes with using ships. But with rivers in Europe drying up, even the Rhine cannot accommodate ships. Again, 
Another problem with the drying up of the Rhine River presents is that the Kalb Choker Point, usually a low region in the river, needs to be drier, making it more difficult for ships to sail through. As a result, some shipping companies have cut down their shipping, now making five ships carry the same quantity of goods that would have been carried by just one ship. Again, some shipping companies have plans for custom ships to help remedy the solution. In the end, the problem of receding waters might eventually affect the world's overall economy if the situation remains unresolved. Consequently, the devastating effect of the heat waves blowing across the European nations and drying up the rivers is becoming more strongly felt. And while we hope and pray that the waters will return, it remains forecasted that the scorching heat climate will continue. We do not know where all of this is leading, but whatever is happening to the rivers in Europe is not good for anyone. We've come to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching till the end. What do you think will become of the European rivers in later days? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe for a more interesting one.